yeah, they do for do. I just spent my soul mate in a stolen coop. The contact. Hey guys, my name is Abhijit and you're watching Quote Keen. So in this video, we will look what is rate limiting in Django. First of all, we will see uh, what is rate limiting and how, what problem it it's going to solve so let's suppose there there is a backend application written in django and uh, there is a client okay what it does is uh, the client register himself through an otp service matlab uh, it it uh, the, the client enters the mobile number and uh, the your server calls an external api that sends the otp to the mobile number okay this is a user's mobile number so what it does is the user doesn't get an otp uh, on the mobile or maybe he have written a wrong number but he doesn't seems to get the but he doesn't seem to get the otp so what it what he does he keeps on clicking the send otp send otp send otp button so what your the backend application does is it keeps on calling the external api it keeps on calling the external api and this cause every api you hit it cause some sort of uh, amount okay let's suppose it causes five rupees for the every single api call and uh, your user is keep on clicking he's he's going to click every time in a minute he clicks or uh, suppose that in a minute he clicks 30 times then it will very uh, heavy cost matlab your all the api calls which you have be you which you have purchased will be exhausted in a minute suppose it costs 30 you know, so it will be 350 rupees per minute and uh, suppose there are thousands of user and who does the same thing then what your cost will look like okay so in rate limiting we what we does is what we do is first of all when you click a uh, otp service uh, it just it just freezes matlab you cannot uh, click the otp button after five minutes five minute or three minute you can add a rate limit what you want okay so you, we will create this kind of service so first of all when when you just register for the mobile number what it does is uh, you, for, uh, first time you click the api it will only call the uh, api after five minute or after 60 second after 30 minute which what rate limit you can add so we will write this application so for this application we will use redis so uh, we will just cache the data and use redis to uh, increment store the counter of the user so well, let's do this okay so first of all what i have done is i have uh, created an app uh, django app uh, django project which is a uh, rate limit and in rate limit i have created a project name uh, app name src okay so what i have done is so far is i have integrated redis you can download django redis from this website django pep install django redis and this is a documentation of uh, this library django redis what it does is it it creates you can use redis in through this api through, through this uh, uh you can use redis with this library okay for uh, the version is 4.12.1 okay so what i have done i have installed pip install django redis and i have added the redis in uh in my settings.py you can copy the code from the, this website uh, django redis this is a documentation and you you get uh, each and everything what you want okay so uh, let's again install redis to our service to our django to our system so you can download redis from this website and if you if you are a windows user and your redis is not working you can install memorai it's also a redis alternative okay redis for windows alternative okay uh, so i have already installed redis so i will what i will i will just run the redis and uh, open the redis not zamp okay i will open redis cli and just write ping it should return pong so my redis server is running okay uh, let's run our redis server so my redis server is running at the port which i have mentioned here so let's suppose we need to get an we can cache the data according to the 
uh, IP address or we can cache the data according to the mobile number so we, we have both the ways I will prefer the IP address and you can prefer the uh, mobile number you can use uh, mobile number as a key okay so what what we are going to do is uh, let's again move to the architecture what uh, we are going to do is first of all mm, we will create this is our server we will this is our red disk so what we will do is first of all the mobile number is something like one two three there is a mobile number no now we will cache the data one two three means if the limit is first we will just do counter one and uh, we will add a time limit after 30 minutes you can add the data okay uh, you can again call the api so we will just increment the uh, if you again call this api we can again we will, i will again one once the threshold is crossed once i will uh, create a threshold five once the threshold is crossed i will just return uh, an, an error message okay so again going to the read limiting part uh, this is a function it just nothing to do is if we call this function it just returns an ip address so my ip address is currently uh, 127.0 it's a wrong ip address because i'm not using any web server so it's giving me the port address which on which i am running the service so if we are if we are using any sort of nginx apache it will definitely return an ip address because it will pass through the you will get an ip address in this okay so once we are using nginx or some sort of apache okay so first of all we will get the ip address so the current ip is current ip will be we will call this function get client ip okay get client ip and this will takes a request parameter so first of all we will set the cache on oh, again we will set the cache dot set okay current ip on the current call will be one and the time limit for this expiry is will be sup suppose that we can add uh, 60 okay so time expiration will be 60 now we will look if uh, if there is some sort of if cache dot get if there is a current ip with this uh, particular uh, ip address then we will check for the call how many calls this uh, person has made in that particular time limit okay if total calls is equal to cash dot get uh, current ip address we will get the total calls number and if the total calls is greater than is equal to five now this person has exceeded has exhausted the total calls per minute and we will just return json response status of 501 okay and uh, we will write a message you have exhausted the limit okay and again we can send the time and again cash dot ttl of current ip okay you can try after this much or second so what it does is uh, first of all it gets the cache and again checks the total call if the total call is greater than 55 then it just returns an error message that you have exhausted the total limit again we are good to go now so if uh, so if uh, total call is less than 5 that means we have to increment the total call for, for that particular uh, person so we will write cache dot set current ip plus total calls plus of one so this will first of all first the person has called that this uh, the person has total call of one then again this, this api is called then we will increment the total call per second so uh, we will return the json response status of 200 message of 
you called this API okay and the total calls we can return total underscore calls we can return the total calls okay so let's see uh, what can happen again let's see first of all uh, I think our server is running okay so now server is boot up so first of all we call this api there's no issue now again we will call this api you call this api total calls one okay again we call the api total call two again we call this api again the person hits on generate otp total call is equal to three again the person hits the api total call four so now the time up now the person has exhausted the limit and it's it's throwing an error message you have exhausted the limit you can try after 297 second and the seconds keeps on decreasing okay so so this is in rate limiting in django you can add this feature in many ways and this feature is very important if you are uh, using some external api and you want to limit the user so there is one more uh, another idea which you can do is you can add an db but that will fail because if you if a lot of concurrent requests comes into picture then your db won't be able to sync so this is a preferred method and uh, we use this method to for rate limiting i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have learned something from this video please subscribe this channel and uh, share with your friends thank you